Making riddle videos on YouTube is super cool because lots of people love them. They're like puzzles for your brain and everyone likes a good challenge. To get lots of people to watch your videos, make sure your riddles are interesting and not too hard. Who doesn't love a good brain teaser, right? I'm here to share some tips on how to make your riddle videos stand out and get tons of views. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and join us on a quest to make riddle videos that are not just entertaining but watched by tons of awesome people on YouTube. I'll show you how to make engaging riddle videos on YouTube using two methods. The simple, direct approach with minimal editing and the more complex storytelling approach for impactful results. Let's get started. One, direct approach. Start by asking ChatGPT to provide 20 challenging riddles. Don't forget to ask ChatGPT to provide the corresponding answers for each riddle. Narrow it down to the top five most intriguing ones. Two, video editing. Now that the riddles are ready, it's time to put together the video. Here are simple steps to follow using ClipChamp.com, a free online video editor by Microsoft. 1. If you don't have an account, sign up. If you do, just log in. Once inside, click on Create a New Video. 2. Click on Content Library and then Backgrounds. Drag and drop your preferred color for the background. Cut it so you will have three scenes. 3. Paste each text into each timeline. In the first text box, write Riddle 1. Copy the generated riddle from ChatGPT and paste it in the second text box. Copy the answer and paste it in the third text box, located at the right side of your screen. You can edit the text style and color of the font at the text section. Four, click on Record and Create and choose Text to Speech. Change the voice to a child to make it engaging. Paste the riddle. Riddle one. And click Save to Media. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Answer. Footsteps. Drop the generated voice into the timeline and cut it as needed. 5. Go to Content Library and select Stickers. Search for Timer and add a 10 second timer where the voiceover asking the question ends. Drag it on your timeline and adjust the duration. Next is to look for a question sticker and place it appropriately. Find a sticker or image that corresponds to the answer and paste it into the answer timeline. Six, just repeat the process for the other riddles. Don't forget to edit the scene where you reveal the answer. Try to provide some imagery to make it fun and interesting. Congratulations, your video is now ready for upload. Riddle one. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Answer. Footsteps. Riddle two. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Answer, the letter M. Riddle three. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? Answer, a map. Three, storytelling style. Here is the other approach in making a riddle. We all know that the essence of a good riddle lies in its ability to captivate and challenge the mind. 
Another way to create riddles is through storytelling. Why a story, you might wonder? Well, consider storytelling as the key that unlocks the door to a viewer's engagement. Think of it as inviting them into a world where each riddle is a chapter, each answer a revelation. It transforms the experience from a mere mental exercise into an immersive journey. Simply visit riddlesnow.com and try to look for a captivating riddle to use. I chose this riddle. 1. Who is lying? I edited the names of the students. made some adjustments to make it quite different from the original one. We have the narrative in place, and the next step is to build the scenes in alignment with the storyline. 4. Creating video. To produce these riddle videos, we'll utilize Canva. So here are the steps in creating your video. 1. Visit canva.com, click on the video option, and select the aspect ratio. I'll proceed with 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. 2. We will create a scene where Mrs. Emma roams around the school and check out the elements. Look for principal. Move to the graphics section and choose an image that fits the story. Adjust the size as needed. 3. Next is to search for hallway to use as a background. Be sure to choose a graphic image as it appears to be more appealing. Four. After selecting an image, make sure to adjust it to fit as a background. Five. Now click on the scene, then copy and paste it. Paste it twice so you will have three same scenes. Now for the first one, adjust the size of the principles and put some animation into it. Here I chose the drift animation going right to make it appear that she is roaming around the hallway. 6. Head to the next page and adjust the image. Make it larger than the first one and place it nearer to show that she is heading toward the viewer's direction. Animate it again to drift, but now try choosing the left direction. 7. For the third page, make the image larger and nearer. Animate it also to drift to maintain consistency. 8. Heading to the next scene, let's show an unknown kid stealing a phone. To do this, first go to Elements and search for a classroom image. Be sure to choose Graphics again. 9. Next thing to do is to add an image of a school bag. Adjust the size and place it above the student's table. Then add an image of a phone, adjust the size again and place it in the bag. Lastly, add an image of a kid, since this is a riddle. We'll choose a kid icon so that the mystery remains. 10. Adjust the layering and position of the images, and let's make an animation to cover the storyline. Click on the phone image, add an animation, choose fade to show that it will disappear. Don't forget to choose on exit to make it appear that it was stolen. Now for the kid icon, make the animation poppy and choose on enter. You can preview each scene before heading to the next one. 11. For the third scene, let's show Mrs. Emma watching the students carefully. Simply select a hallway background, adjust to fit the whole screen. Then go to Elements again, add the same image we used for Mrs. Emma, place it at the back and adjust the size. Now add some students walking in the hallway. Animate them drifting to show movements. Don't forget to animate Mrs. Emma. 12. Now create the last scene showing three students. Go to the Elements section, choose a background for your scene. Try choosing an empty classroom, then go to Layers and send to back. Create graphic images of three students. Adjust the size and place them in order. In your story, each of the students have their alibi. Now create an animated image of their alibi. For example, in Joanna's case, her alibi is that she got sick and had to leave her last lesson. Now go to the Elements section and search for a graphic image of sickness. Try searching for an animated one. Simply click the filter button and check the box of animation. Now choose your animated image. For Jake, just add an animated image of baseball. Go to Elements, search for a graphic image, filter it as animated, then adjust and position your selected image. 
For Olivia, since she is the culprit, let's leave a clue for the viewers to figure out the riddle. I change her alibi because it's quite hard to find an image of a book with Dutch written on it. Her new alibi is that she had to borrow a book from the library because next week she will go to a zoo with her family. To make it a clue, let's put a graphic image of a book not related to animals. Here I chose the book with Atlas written on it to serve as a clue since the Atlas book is not related to animals and it is a collection of maps. 13. Now select the scene, right click on it and then click on duplicate. Next, navigate to the element section and choose a circular shape. Adjust its size and position under the students. Inside the circle, type A and increase its size accordingly. Now, duplicate the circle, place it under the next student and type B. Repeat the process by duplicating and placing another circle under the third student and type C. Additionally, modify the background color of each circle by selecting the same color for each one. 5. Voice over. We've accomplished the creation of all scenes, and the final stage involves incorporating a voiceover, which we'll accomplish through text-to-speech technology. We'll be using Typecast AI, the AI voice generator with emotional text-to-speech. With a library of over 400-plus hyper-realistic voices, this tool enables users to create content just the way they want it. Here are the steps. 1. First go to ChatGPT and paste this prompt. Do you know how to ask viewers to in the fun way to solve the riddle? This is the riddles, and after saying riddle, I will give 10 seconds to solve the riddles after time's up. I will reveal correct answer. 2. Second go and copy the riddle and paste the riddle with the prompt. Don't forget to copy and paste the answer also. Press enter. If you aren't satisfied and want to make some adjustments, just ask chat GPT to do it. 3. Copy the generated script by chat GPT and go to typecast.i. Paste the script on the text box and choose the right emotion based on how you want the voiceover to sound. Teacher could figure out who he or she was. Mrs. Emma started to carefully watch all students. 4. After hearing the preview, simply click the download button. One thing to pay attention to is that the generated voiceover on Typecast has an audio watermark. Be sure to edit it when you create your video. If you want to automatically remove the watermark you have to apply on their paid plans. If you're having trouble using Typecast I, you can use 11labs.io. 5. Apply this to every scene. Use varying emotions for each scene, and when conducting the student interviews, ensure the use of distinct voices for each part. After another theft, Mrs. Emma suspected several students and asked them about what they were doing during the theft. Don't forget to edit the script of Olivia as we changed her alibi. 6. Continue editing. 14. Now go back to Canva and upload the audio file. Masters, ready for a brain-tickling challenge? I created a new opening scene for our riddle video. Head to the first scene and drag the audio file for that scene. Be sure to remove the watermark by dragging the clip duration. 16. Adjust the scene according to the voiceover duration. Also, I added some extra scenes to show which among the students the voiceover is currently playing. 17. For the last scene, increase the duration to 10 seconds as we are giving the viewers time to think. Head to the Elements section and add a timer icon. Be sure it's animated, then head back again to Elements and add a timer sound effect. Navigate to the Audio section, select one and add it to the beginning of the last scene. 18. Also add some animation effects on the circle options. I suggest using the flicker animation. 19. Now duplicate again the last scene. Be sure to remove the sound effects. Then add the voice over where the answer is revealed. Don't forget to remove the watermark of the audio. For the last scene, edit the page by removing the other options as we are revealing the answer. 20. I added an ending scene. Just design the way you like it and make a simple voiceover for your ending scene. And this is how you can create riddles with animation. Seven, result. Hello, puzzle masters. Ready for a brain tickling challenge? I've got a riddle that's sure to get those gears turning, but here's the twist. You only have 10 seconds to crack it. Don't worry, I believe in your detective skills. 
Mrs. Emma was a young principal. She decided to get rid of all thefts that were frequent there. Someone stole phones and no teacher could figure out who he or she was. Mrs. Emma started to carefully watch all the students. After another theft, Mrs. Emma suspected several students and asked them about what they were doing during the theft. I got sick and had to leave my last lesson. I had to borrow a book from the library. I am going to the zoo with my parents next week. I went to an extra baseball lesson. Mrs. Emma immediately realized that one of the students was lying. Who is lying? Oliva was lying. She said that she borrowed a book from the library because of his trip to the zoo but borrowed an Atlas book. Great job, detectives! Whether you solved it or not, you're all stars in my book! Stay tuned for more brain-bending riddles! So, in a nutshell, making riddle videos on YouTube is like taking a fun trip into creativity and brain games. Give it a go, let your imagination run wild, challenge your viewers, and see how your riddle videos can turn into a cool and interesting thing for more and more people. If you found this video informative and exciting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.